Hey everyone, uh, Donnie here with Paleo Tracks. Uh, pretty successful hunt today. Got myself a nice little marmot. What I'm going to show you uh, right now is how to go about skinning it out, um, pulling out the guts, and then uh, butchering up so you can uh, throw it over the fire a little bit later. So uh, stay with me, much to see. Uh, so first and foremost, when I shot this um, this marmot right here, I shot it right through the neck. That was my kill spot. That's where I needed to shoot these. Uh, these things hide in rocks, and they'll come out of the rocks, they'll perch, and if you take a shot, and let's say you just hit maybe the back side of it or something, it's going to crawl deep into those rocks and you're never going to get it. So when you're hunting marmot, you have to be precise. You have to aim for the head or the side of that neck to sever that spine. Instant kill. I took it with a bow, and it worked out perfectly fine. <clears throat> So anytime I uh, skin any small game, first thing I want to do is do a quick visual inspection. Make sure there's no fleas, make sure there's no external wounds, uh, make sure this animal looks pretty much healthy for the most part. Once I've determined that it looks healthy, um, doesn't look like it has rabies, there's no foam coming from its mouth, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the uh, gutting process. So uh, to gut this animal, all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to reach right up in here and I'm going to grab some skin. I'm gonna make a small little incision. You might be able to see this, you might not, but I'm just gonna take my blade. Just make a little opening. Once I've made that opening, I'm going to burn right where it is. need a lot of uh, blades to do most small game. Um, what I'm looking to do is just to make a small little hole so I can get my finger on the inside. Once I can get my finger on the inside, I can see exactly where I need to go, what I need to do. And then, ah, there it is. I'm looking for that urinary gland. And once I have it, I'm going to pinch here, right? And I'm just going to lift that skin with my blade. Until I start to actually get into this. Now, what I'm doing is I'm not going all the way deep. I'm not going all the way through there because all I really want to do is I want to get the, uh, the skin off, but I still want to expose the insides. So in order to do that, let's remove the skin, remove the guts. Put on the back of your blade, find that opening. A little bit more. There we go. All the way down. Once I've got her open and I can see it, see all the intestines, see all the, the goodness on the inside. All I'm going to do is flip this guy over let it spill out. What I'm going to do is I'm doing the hang. I want all the uh, the insides to hang out so then I can actually make sure that when I pull everything out I can separate it. The lungs, the heart, the liver, everything right up on the upside, up on the inside. And all I do is reach up and start pulling. I might have to grab my blade, make a few more little incisions, but Kidneys, there's the intestines, there's my whole gut sack. Now, once I have all my guts, I'll do a quick visual inspection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the lungs, the livers, the stomach, everything on the inside looks healthy. I don't want to see any sort of, uh, you know, white spots or anything that could say that this animal has been, uh, you know, sick from the inside. It's got any sort of diseases. So I do a quick little inspection. There's the lungs. There's the stomach, there's the lungs, there's the intestines. You can feel the next little poos that he's gonna have. You can see them right there. Those are all poos, those are the intestines. Uh, I'm gonna set these right over here for now because I'm gonna go through those intestines. We're gonna use those as well. I'm gonna flip that animal out, do any last minute processing of it. Reach up, grab that diaphragm. There's a 
diaphragm. Whew, this is the most awkward rock, but grab my knife. Go a little bit farther. Almost up to where the ribs are. Now with this, most small game, you can split the ribs typically all the way up to the mouth. There we go. I didn't think I saw the lungs. Hold the head, pop, that was the esophagus. The lungs, right there. Any more of the membranes on the inside. You can use your blade. Looks healthy. Then I'm gonna go down where the, the anus is, and I'm gonna separate from the anus. Now, most of these animals, when they get shot, they poo. They pee, it's very, very common. Lots of fat on this one. And all I'm gonna do is make sure they get all of that. There's the anal gland. The gut bile. Separate the hips. Just like this. Open it up. Cut the anus out. That's the anus right there. Throw that in the water. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything looks good on the inside. Now all I've just simply done. So all I've simply done is I've gutted this animal. I've opened up its ribs. You can kind of see. Um, I've exposed all the insides. All this is membrane and fat. You can pull that out just by grabbing a hold, working it with your knife, working it with your stone blade, whatever. You can get that out. Now that I have it completely gutted, I can process it back uh, to my camp. I can bring it to my camp. Um, I can do whatever I need to do, but. I've rectified the immediate uh, concern, which would be this animal going bad uh, because I did not get cleaned right away. All right, let's do a little fine, a little more fine tuning. Very healthy. Now, you can skin before you can skin after. I know with marmots, they have a lot of fat on them. And I can use that fat to help me in my entire process of this animal. So what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna skin it out. I'm gonna take and cut all the way to that paw, go around, same exact thing. A lot of fat. Whew, man, this would be a good hide. There's that one. Do the same. His back legs. Right around when the top, the flies start coming is when you need to start hustling it up a little bit. There we go. Over to that paw. Lots of fat. Man, it's gonna be good. This one, get that skin. All the way through. Now from here, I can take this guy and I can skin it just how I would any animal. Get those cheeks. Find where that leg wraps all the way around, just like this. Ooh, come here, you. Pop that through. There. A little 
trauma from where I got them. No big deal. Good. Nice shot. Now, Marmot is a fat rodent for sure. Um, you could definitely see the layers of fat on this guy. They're getting ready to go into hibernation in about another month, so you can see that there's lots of fat. The thing that you're going to eat on this guy is pretty much the, the legs. You can throw the ribs, which are soft ribs, um, in a stew or boil them down, make a broth of some sort. All right, once I've got that guy there, stay. I'll find the top of the spine. Work my fingers through. Not yet. There we go. So I come all the way around to the other side. And I just keep separating. Now that I've made my, pulled my hide off, majority of the way, I've got my skin. Make sure we get that fat off. Come here, you. Where are you? There you are. All right, there's that, there's that. There's my front legs. Just keep going down. Let's see, there's not tons of meat on this but the legs serve up like chicken wings you can see all that white fat all the way around it bro trout you're next Just to the base of the tail. Where's that leg?
Let's see if we can get this tail off in one piece. So that's what you're eating. Get quick cleaning. Lots of fat. Lots of goodness. Here's the hide. but that'll work. All right, so now we've got one leg. There's one leg. Butcher this guy up. Right to the left of the tail. There's two legs. Three legs. Whew, come here, you. Where's that joint? There it is. There's three legs. Now we have all these ribs right through here that we can definitely make a stew out of. We got the coin. I also have these loins on the inside. All this flesh right here. So let me just get rid of that trauma of blood We'll just keep that on there. We'll cook it up. So essentially, I have the whole spine, the ribs, I have the hide and the brain. I'm gonna take the head off. So I will. Let's see where I want to cut it. There. We got the hide, we got the ribs, the legs. I'll take these paws off in a second, and one head. So from here, I'll cook those up over the fire. I'll pop those paws off once I can get a piece of wood and pop my knife down onto it. I have a side that I can process out. I have the brain that I can actually use to. Uh, Well, after everything's said and done, uh, it's time to eat. So let's get into it. Marmot is one uh, fat little animal. There's tons of fat on it. So these are just almost like deep fried. It's pretty good. Definitely has a little marmot. Not all marmot definitely tastes like what it eats. It's like all that greens and stuff, so it's good they don't eat anything from the dirt, because otherwise it'd be tasting like that, so. Yeah, it's just... Not bad. 
so you can see definitely there's there's meat on it there's still plenty of fats on it but when you break it apart if you look at it you can see this is definitely a good meat so yeah that's marmot hunting for you it's how you process it it's how you skin it it's how you gut it there's a million different ways you can um you can uh you know gut and skin uh, any small animal that's just the way i did it today so um Anyway, not necessarily that way, but uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, now it's time to reap the benefits. So, all right, thanks.